So this isn't the video I thought I was gonna make. My first idea for a project failed miserably in more ways than one. But then I came up with another idea and uh, I thought that'd make a great video. Turns out it is a horrible video. There's nothing to it. It's boring, it's sad, whatever. But then I came up with a third idea and that's what this video is about. Welcome to my third best video idea on Ken Makes Mistakes. print everything? I was gonna print... No. <clears throat> so stupid. <sighs> Alright, so I wasn't going to print anything. You know how I print everything? Every video so far has been, I 3D printed this, I 3D printed this. Really? Oh, I hadn't noticed. I wasn't gonna do any of that. I was gonna do a resin pour. Yeah, I was going to be pouring liquid resin into a thingy, I was going to use some sidewalk chalk as a sort of a pigment powder to see how that came out. It was kind of an experiment. I kind of knew what I was going to get. It's going to be awesome. I wanted to do something special for you today. And look, both cameras just revolted. They wouldn't do it. They just stopped. They wouldn't capture it. And unlike this, you know, this conversation, this connection, I could record this a billion times. If it doesn't go right the first time, I'll just do it again. If I don't like the way this one's going, I'll just do it again. I can do this all day long. But a resin pour is a live event. It happens one time, and when it's done, it's done. Unless I want to mix up more resin, and I don't. Wait, that doesn't sound fun. I did get one cool thing out of it. It's gonna be this guy right here. Wow, you're the best man ever! Oh, hardly. But he's the only survivor from that video idea. Or at least the only one that you get to see. So I moved on to plan B. Plan B was gonna be going with uh, a design tutorial. I was going to walk you through how I make a design using Fusion 360, an application I'm not super familiar with. And I was kind of trying to stretch and learn and teach myself new things. And it came out really boring and you wouldn't want to watch it. So I'll spare you. I'm nice like that. My third video idea, the inspiration. Here's how it came to me. YouTube. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was YouTube, all right? I got my idea from YouTube. I learned it from watching you. Tube. All right, if you've spent any time on YouTube, you've seen the videos that are five minute crafts or something like that. And they make things out of like hot glue and popsicle sticks, bottle caps, and a lot of faded aspirations and life goals that they just put together into a little. They are bad. But I saw one from Inventor 101 that actually had a really cool little invention in there. Now I'm gonna link to it right up here and I'm also gonna throw it down in the description, check it out. Um, but I'm gonna give you a quick little sped up recap over here. The idea is that it's a lamp where there's a momentary switch inside that is being pulled on by a magnet that's trying to touch this magnet, but they can't touch because of the the strings that they're attached to. It just, it. So look, that's an awesome idea. I like the way that that works. I like the aesthetic of it. Um, there's a couple of problems. Uh, like at the end, you get to see what it looks like with the lights off when the lamp is on and the lights are off. But when the lights are on and you can see that it's made out of popsicle sticks and hot glue, I mean, it looks like it's made out of popsicle sticks and hot glue because, you know, it is. That's the problem I'm gonna try and fix. It's not pretty. <laughs> so I thought it'd be really fun to take that concept, and by the way, to take that concept and model it in a 3D design application, 3D print it, because hey, when all you have are hammers, everything looks like a nail, and see what I get. What's the worst that could happen? So here I am designing, and look, I could tell you what I'm doing, or I could just let you watch and listen to a little music. Let's do that, right? I went with a quick battery door and I cheated. My battery base is actually the same one from Moon City, just slightly modified to uh, fit this and be completely round. And then of course, uh, I got started on the shape of the actual arms that are gonna hold my lights.
this video might want me dead. Uh, I just had something fun happen. Uh, I burned my finger on a micro SD card. Yeah. Uh, so I had a micro SD card that the camera wouldn't read. So I figured I'll throw it on the computer. I'll reformat it. Everything will be fine. And it heated up to 81 degrees Celsius. That's hot. That's like... I burned my thingy. Call an ambulance. I've designed some parts. I've printed some parts. Let's put them together. These are the things I'm going to use to make this wonderful project. see it huh come on you want to see it why would you watch this video and not see the final result let's just take a look let's just look at it let's just look at it let's look at it Look, I am so proud of that project. That came out so good. I love the way that looks. Now, this video is done. I'm, I'm done. I've said everything I need to say. I've done everything I need to do. It's your turn. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, like and subscribe. Get the little bell icon on. It's a YouTube video. Do you not know what to do at the end of a YouTube video? Ugh. But seriously, if you stuck around this long, you are awesome. You're my favorite viewer of all time. I'll see you next time. Out and into your eyes and mouth and face. Why? That's not...